What is going on, Big Blue Nation? Will Turpin, UK super fan here. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. On this video here, we're going to talk about the keys to victory uh, versus Georgia Tech. Kentucky will play Georgia Tech at 5 o'clock on ESPN on Sunday evening. Uh, I'm going to drop a, a few little news and notes while we're at this. Uh, kind of give you kind of, like I said, my final keys. Uh, what I think Kentucky will definitely have to do areas that I think they have a massive edge and uh, how exactly Kentucky will pull out this win. You know, Georgia Tech is 0-2, uh, but they never, they never had full contact practices before either one of their two games. So, I mean, they just had drills and that was it. And uh, Coach Pastor admitted that, you know, it was just a an uncomfortable scenario for the Georgia Tech team, but uh, he was really just kind of – he admitted to that, uh, today that he just really was coaching that team uh, trying to avoid a shutdown. So they, they were not doing any full contact practices at all. Uh, since then, they've gotten the contact tracers. And uh, they've had eight days off uh, after those two games, and they've had the ability to practice. Now, they practiced on Sunday. Uh, Coach Pastor said twice on Monday, twice on Tuesday, twice on Wednesday. Uh, Georgia Tech was off on Thursday, and they come back and practice twice more on Friday. Uh, and then just a light shoot around um, on Saturday. And then they'll do a walk through, I'm assuming, I think, in the morning. But, uh, you know, it's it's a scenario where uh, you, you can really take the tape from Georgia Tech and really it's not as useful for their first two games. It's not going to be very helpful for Kentucky. And I, because in this game against Kentucky, Georgia Tech is going to play a completely different style than what you uh, saw on that tape the first two games. And uh, I got a feel listening to Coach Passner. Uh, he, he just uh, admitted basically, you know, he made a lot of misjudgments and not having any full contact practices. He was really just going on how his team was playing in drills. So Georgia Tech really wasn't uh, prepared to really play either one of those two games, and they were more or less scrimmages for them, unfortunately. Uh, they do count against the record, and, it's, and, and they're 0-2. They went against two uh, very veteran teams in uh, Georgia Southern and Mercer and uh, lost two very competitive games. But moving on over, like I said, this is just going to be a short video here today, uh, like I said, with these keys to victory. And uh, when I look at this, uh, when I look at this uh, Kentucky game, uh, I think one of the things that, uh, one of the reasons why I think that tape also is ineffective is, is that, is, you know, the game's going to be played at a faster tempo. Georgia Tech's not going to play the same style. Uh, they're going to they're gonna play this game much faster than what the tape on, on the first two games look like. So I think for one, the number one thing I had up there, uh, and I do think this is really the only path to victory I could see, as I discussed in the uh, preview video before this one, is one of the few ways I could see Georgia Tech winning this game is if they just hit a large amount of three-pointers. So... And that can be said against a lot of teams that are underdogs. But uh, Georgia Tech, obviously, you know, they, they've got a good team. Uh, and they've got capable shooters. So, I mean, and they're going to play at a higher tempo. I actually think they'll end up shooting 25 or 33s in this game. Uh, even though they come in not averaging that many per 40. Um, I do think that we'll see them shoot more long-range shots. Uh, I do think that... Uh, Kentucky, if they can hold them to, you know, six or seven of those, then, you know, we probably win this game easily. But if Georgia Tech comes out here and makes 12, 13 threes uh, or more, then they're going to be not only be in the game but have a good chance to win it. Uh, but that's the key. Stay at home on the shooters. Make these guards drive. And the reason why we want them to drive is, is we've got two excellent rim protectors in Saar and uh, Isaiah Jackson back there. So I'm not worried about that. And so we want we want to make we want to drive them off that line is what we want to do and don't leave Georgia Tech open. Uh, the next thing is dominate the rebounding on both ends and this is the stat that really to me, uh, I mean Kentucky should have a massive advantage on both ends of the glass. I mean this is just a matter of effort. If Kentucky comes out and their big guys uh, play with the effort that I think they will, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and predict it right now. I think Sarah and Jackson both have double doubles. Both bigs have double doubles. Now that's saying something, but I think Sar and Jackson both can have 10 rebounds each in this game. 
and uh, they should be battling in there for them. And I really do think this is an opportunity where I really think we'll overmatch them. I think Georgia Tech will try to play three guards more and more as they try to speed this game up. And, uh, you know, they're going to want to speed it up. When they get the ball, they're going to want to play fast. But then they also want to force Kentucky – uh, into playing in the half court, uh, honestly, that, because uh, the, George Tech's going to play a lot of zone in this game, and uh, it's going to be up to Kentucky to match uh, that zone with uh, some good timeouts. And, you know, one thing we know about Cal is, you know, he's a very good game-to-game -game coach. Uh, you know, from one game to the next, you know, he can evaluate what's going on and completely change and add brand-new wrinkles in and really coach those wrinkles up and – I honestly think you'll see a lot different Kentucky team in this game as well. Uh, but Cal, if he has a weakness, it's definitely the in-game coaching. There's no doubt about that. It's, it's uh, you know, if he does have a weakness, that's where it's at. So, and the reason why that's important in this game is Tech is going to play a lot of different types of zone. You know, and obviously we've got a lot of young players on the floor, so... We're going to need to be able to call timeout, and we're going to need to be able to figure things out because as they continue to mix it up and mix it up, when they when they get in a zone, a particular zone that, that Kentucky's having trouble with, then obviously they're going to stay with it until we figure it out. So we're going to need to make adjustments in this game, and, and our young players and our coach both, you know, early on in the season, that's not looked like a strength. Uh, for the players or the coaching staff. So we're definitely going to need to see that come up a little bit. We're going to have to be able to call timeout and we're going to have to have proper ball movement and understand how to get, uh, you know, how to attack these various different types of zone that Georgia Tech will play. Uh, last but not least, uh, uh, the, the million dollar question if you're a big blue fan is uh, Kentucky. Uh, are they a decent shooting team at all? Because I mean, early on, it 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 is it's been as bad as it could possibly be the last two games. I mean, there's definitely nowhere to go but up. Uh, so can Kentucky shoot a respectable percentage? Because again, like I said, Tech knows that they're outmatched down low. They're going to crowd the paint. They're going to make Kentucky hit three pointers, and Kentucky is literally going to have to make some. And if Kentucky don't make them, they're going to just continue right along, and it's going to be a tough game to win. It'll be a close game, and a game that you're again playing against experience, and in a close game this early in the year, uh, you know, Georgia Tech's had plenty of practice this week to figure out, you know, what they're doing. So, you know, if, you know, if Kentucky's to win this game, uh, they are going to have to, on offense, shoot at least a respectable enough percentage to – to keep the game going or maybe shoot them out of it, shoot them out of the zone. Uh, but even even if they do play the zone, the reason why if Kentucky can just shoot a reasonable percentage is, is, again, I think Kentucky dominates the glass. I think Saar and Jackson and anybody else that gets minutes in the paint uh, will will be effective down there getting rebounds. And on the offensive end, that's just going to be easy putbacks. And uh, I fully expect that to happen. And I think Kentucky comes out here tomorrow uh, against a savvy Georgia Tech team that's playing desperate. And uh, and I think I think we uh, show some heart and some intensity. And I think we play better. I think Calipari has them prepared for these zones. And uh, I really do think we'll see a different Kentucky team than we saw the last two games. Whether that'll be a dominating performance. You know, that's all going to depend on these. if Kentucky can do these keys to the game. You know, if Kentucky stays home on the shooters, dominates both ends of the rebounds, passes the ball effectively in Tech's zone, and shoots a decent percentage from three-point range, if they do all four of those categories, Kentucky wins this game going away. And that's exactly what I hope we see tomorrow, uh, yeah, tomorrow afternoon. That's what I hope to see is Kentucky dominate all four of these categories and get us a big win tomorrow. Big Blue Nation needs a big win. Uh, the UK football team got a big win this afternoon against South Carolina. You know, they're, they're trending. They're going to try to end the season on a positive note. And, uh, you know, let's hope Kentucky can just kind of get this thing going and, uh, you know, start playing some solid ball, and then we'll start preparing for Notre Dame. Guys, I appreciate all the support. Uh, you know, it's been awesome. These last few weeks have been just so cool. Can't uh, thank everybody that's reached out to me, commented, liked, subscribed. I mean, it's it's all uh, 
so awesome, uh, such a blessing, and uh, just thankful uh, to be doing what I'm doing, uh, covering the team, and providing the best analysis and insight that I can for you on a day-to-day -day basis with our with our cats. I, you know, uh, thankful to see the Kentucky Wildcat little uh, group here we got going, and uh, it's growing uh, by the week. And uh, look forward to just trying to improve the videos as we go. Again, uh, any feedback you got, go ahead and uh, throw it in there. Throw a comment in there. Uh, uh, you know, after the game, if you want to comment on that, you know, more than welcome to uh, interact. I love conversating about what's going on with the team. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that, uh, you know, hit that like button. It kind of gets more eyes on us, helps us with that YouTube algorithm. Guys, y'all have a good one. Let's get a let's get a win uh, Sunday evening and uh, go Big Blue. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one, y'all. Bye bye.